to some degree, I've had, you know, like a lot of people ask me why I've been in so many bands. Mm. Um, I didn't plan on it. It's just the route that my career took me on. Right. You know what I mean? It wasn't, you know, when I was in The Scream, I really thought The Scream was going to be around for 50 years, you know, 20 years, whatever. I thought that was it. I got my record deal. This is the band. We're going to be like the next Led Zeppelin, and we're going to go. And who knew I was going to get a phone call from Motley? So then even the guys in my band were like, you need to do this. This is a huge opportunity for you. So I did it. Um, and then who knew that Vince was going to come back? And, you know, Union, I thought when I put Union together with Bruce Kulick, um, and not to sound cocky, but I kind of figured it was, uh, we say in America, a slam dunk. Right, you know, sure. you got a guy from Kiss who just came out of Kiss and had a very long, successful career with Kiss, and then a guy who just came out of Motley Crue, put those two guys together, and I, I, we just, I think we both assumed that we were gonna be the darlings of the world, and it didn't play out that way. We never really split up. We just all opted to go do other things where we could make a living doing what we loved doing. Sure. Bruce joined Grand Funk. I went and played guitar with Rat for a while. Brent and James played with Vince Neil, oddly enough. Um, you know, and we just had to do what we had to do. Um, but now here I am with the Daisies um, and a solo career. And I think, to be honest with you, man, I think this is probably, this is probably as high profile a gig as the Motley gig was for me. Like, I don't think I've ever done as much press as I have. Even when I was in Motley, I didn't do this much press. There wasn't this many people that wanted to talk to me. Um, we've, we're doing TV, we're doing radio, the band is doing really well. Um, so I've always been one of those people that kind of, um, you know, I, 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 I always say I take the long way around. Which, you know, in, in the end result is usually, it tastes much sweeter when you do have a little bit of success. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm also the same type of person, you know, when I did the Brides of Destruction thing. Um, personally, I was going through some personal stuff, uh, but I also didn't understand the direction the band was taking. And nobody could understand why I would leave a band right when they got a record deal. Right. But it was like, I'm just not the type of person, like if I don't get it, or if I'm not happy, I can't sit there and smile and act like I'm happy. And it doesn't matter how much money is involved, I just can't do it. And so there's been times in my career where I've been offered other things. I've, uh, you know, I could have gone this way, but I'm like, I don't really like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying, you know, I, there was even some things that went on to be successful. Um, I was just talking on the Kiss Cruise a couple weeks ago uh, to Dave Snake Sabo. Snake offered me, not offered me, but he sent me a tape of Skid Row before they had Sebastian Bach. Okay. And I was, I, it's not that I didn't like it or whatever. I had something else going and I was a little more loyal to this. I was like... I was focused on this and then they sent me that and and I was like, oh, they're, you know, they're cool songs, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna stay here. Mm -hmm. And everything that I've done, I've done for a reason in my mind. Sure. Um, and I also, I also say I've never, I've never cheated anybody out of anything. I've never lied to anybody about anything. I've never scammed anybody for anything. I've always done what I thought was the right thing even though it made, maybe made my journey a little longer. Right. But you know what? I always say, I sleep really good at night. Do you know what I mean?